Hello and welcome back to the third video of this Introduction to Scripting for Jira Cloud video series. My name is Bobby and I'm a Customer Success Manager here at Adaptivist. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you three of the top features in Scripting for Jira Cloud, what they are, how they work, and how you can make the most out of them in your Jira instance. The first feature we're going to be looking at is script listeners. Script listeners allow you to detect certain events within Jira and have a script that is executed when those events are detected. This is very much your automation tool. So when I go to create a script listener, I choose the event that I want to detect, the projects I want this to run in. I can then define a condition. And if that condition evaluates to true, when those events are detected in the projects I define, a script that I write here can be executed. This is very much if you have action A in your business, which then needs to be followed by B, C, and D. We listen for A, we ensure that the conditions are all correct, and then we script B, C, and D for you. A couple of examples of how this can be used. One example might be that when a certain project is created of type development, I might have a number of issues that need to be created automatically every time a new project is started. I can use this to detect when that project is created, use the condition to check that it is the correct type of project, and then write a script that goes and creates those issues. Another example is one I have actual um, built in here right now. And what this does is this listens when projects are created, and it goes and updates the context of custom fields with that project to include it in, so the custom fields are automatically shown on that, that new project's issue view without any manual interference. The next feature we're going to talk about is behaviors. Behaviors is the ability to control and customize the issue create screen. So when you go to create an issue, this form pops up and behaviors allows you to control the screen, make modifications dynamically based upon what the user is currently doing. So two examples of this. The first here is the ability to disable a field, but depending on the user's permissions. So in the behavior, I have given it a name. I've defined the projects I want it to run in, the issue types it's going to apply to, and I've written a script here. What this script will do is this script will lock down certain fields based upon my permission set. So if I now go and try to create an issue in story, and I say that this is going to be an admin feature, currently the senior reviewer is available to me, but I can lock that down now based upon what I've selected in the business area field and my permission set. Another example of a behavior is automatically pre-populating certain fields. So for example, if I go to create a bug in my webinar project, we go down to the description is pre-populated with the description, expect functionality and actual functionality fields that I want people to define when they're creating this ticket. We do have a series of videos that go deeper into behaviors, what you can achieve and how to achieve those. That will be linked in the description below. But that is an example of how you can use behaviors to make your issue creation process much more dynamic. Finally, we're going to be going through scripted fields. Scripted fields are fields that are shown on your Jira issue that are purely driven by a script to calculate the value. So users cannot modify this value or make changes the script itself is what calculates that. So when I go to create a scripted field, we can define where the field will be shown, the projects and story types that it's relevant for, what field type we're actually going to be outputting, are we going to be outputting some text or a number, and then the script to execute. So what this script is going to do is in my webinar project, it's taking two custom field values and it's calculating a value to output. So I can now go to my webinar project. I can select webinar one. We have scripted fields here. This is priority. It's calculating that value and it's going to show me that value here. Whilst Jira itself doesn't consider the scripted field an actual field. So for example, you cannot export it. You can also, def you, what you can do is you can define a search term here. So I've defined business priority search. So I can go into the issue navigator and I can do business priority search equals 65 and search on those scripted files as well. So those are three of the top features in Script Runner for Jira Cloud, how they work and how you can get the most out of them. In the next video, I'm going to be going through the resources available to you that you can use to get familiar with Script Runner for Jira Cloud and how you can use those and leverage those to make your Jira instance that much more powerful. 
Thank you very much. Have a great day.